Eric Wilson, a local woman wants more street lights in the area where her husband was killed. A car hit him on South Alpine Road April 2nd. She started a petition to shed some light on what she calls a dangerous problem. Alexis Carpello spoke with her today, and Alexis, she tells you she's gained a lot of community support. Yeah, that's right, Mimi and Eric. Nearly 1,000 people have signed the petition so far. The woman tells me she met her husband when she was 14 years old and never was expecting to lose him to something he did almost daily. I think he was just comfortable and he didn't think that would happen. Justin Pickett walked to Planet Fitness on South Alpine Road almost every day. His wife Bianca says the gym is right across the street from their home. He had a routine where he would go to work and he would go to the gym. It was kind of a routine for us, so I always expected it. What she never expected was a driver not being able to see Justin crossing the road at night near South Alpine and Beach Street until it was too late. It did surprise that she stated that in the police report because I didn't know until yesterday that it was dark and she didn't have time to press her brake. We did a candle and a balloon release and I noticed that night that it was really dark and it was really dangerous. I never really paid attention because I never really crossed that street before. When I drove from the intersection of South Alpine Road and Beach Street to Cleveland Avenue, I counted three street lights, which at nighttime looks like this. And I never paid attention before. You know, I never noticed. I never even noticed the lights. I never. And now that it's me and my family are going through it, like, I feel like something has to be done. Bianca thinks if there were more street lights, Justin might still be here. So she started a petition to gain the city's attention, hoping to bring light not only to a tragic incident, but the area. I'm getting a lot of support from my neighborhood. It just shows me like he passed away, but like at least we can make a difference for the neighborhood, for the kids, make sure it doesn't happen again. I did reach out to the city about this petition, but have yet to hear back. We posted a link to the petition with more information about the accident on our website, mystateline.com. Mimi.